G'day guys, what I'm gonna show you in this short tutorial is how you can share a Google Sheet or a Google document um, with somebody and by doing so, enabling them to make a copy of it. Now, the reason that you would do this and the advantage of doing this is, for example, if you wanted to share a resource or a framework or a white paper or something that you want somebody to take like a template and make, make their own, then what you don't want is them um, basically saying like, you sharing them a sharing a Google document with them, and them coming back to you saying, "Hey, um, can you give us permissions for this or whatever it might be?" Right. So this is a simple way that you can share a link with somebody for a document, and the only way that they can get hold of it is by making a copy, and that copy is then created in their own Google account, and they can customize it accordingly. So. Um, First of all, it's, it's important to understand that, that with Google Documents, there are permission settings that apply to um, different levels of accounts. And within different accounts, you will, have addition, you will have different features as well. So for example, with the updated Google My Business, um, uh, uh, sorry, updated um, Google Workspace, <laughs> they've just changed their name from G Suite, um, you get what's called shared drives with some of the accounts anyway. And you also did get some of them with, with certain tiers of, um, uh, of Google's G Suite as well. However, a shared drive is kind of, um, is basically like where you would share um, folder structures with your internal team. Um, my drive is typically where you would share uh, folders externally and, and files externally, so outside of the organization. And sometimes the permission settings are different. I know in the past, I don't um, know 100% the answer to this, but I know in the past when I've tried to create a uh, copy version of a document from a shared drive, um, the permission settings have blocked it. I've done it in other instances where it hasn't. However, the safest bet, I think if you're gonna be sharing a document externally is normally just to save it in your My Drive and do it um, and, and share it that way. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So I'm gonna show you how you can, just catering for everyone. If you've got a Google Drive account, you will have a My Drive. You may not have shared drives, don't worry about it. Um, <clears throat> it still applies, you can try it if you do have shared drives. Um, however, this is what, I'm just gonna show you how to do it from, from your, your My Drive, okay? So um, this is, I've just got here my, I'm just gonna reduce my camera here so you can see me, <clears throat> see my screen. So in here in my, in my drive, um, you, can, you can see, these are the shared drives down here, which I'm not gonna go into, but this here is my drive. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I've just opened up a Google doc that was sitting in here um, somewhere, there it is, down there, which looks like this, it's just a template, it's just a, uh, a, a Google document that, to be honest, we never use. I'm going to delete after we record this. But <clears throat> basically what you do is when you're going to share a document, if you click on the share button up in the top right corner here, um, you'll see it opens up some permission settings, okay? So you can share directly with people. And if you do that, you'll share this exact document so they can collaborate on this specific document with you. But we don't want to do that in this instance because what we want is for them to have their own version of this document. So if this was a template, we would share that with them, okay? So <clears throat> um, if I click here, um, I wanna change these settings and you'll see it gives us some options here. So currently it's set up. So anyone within my organization, Trading Web Guys, um, anyone with this link can view, okay? Now that will work. Um, if you have it, anyone with this link can edit it. I'm pretty sure it won't work because that will mean they'll be able to um, they will be able to edit this document, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Um, best bet as well, if you're gonna be doing this as a template, save the document as a template and don't share it with the rest of your team because you don't want them to be updating it. Maybe you wanna go in there and update the template from time to time, but you don't want your team to be collaborating on it, typically speaking, okay? So in this instance here, you'll see it gives me the option to, um, to view, edit, or comment, right? And I can also make it available to anyone um, <clears throat> on anyone with a link on the internet and or you can restrict it. So um, in this instance, I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'm going to come back in here and I'm gonna copy this link. Now, when I open this link up in a browser window, you'll see it has a whole lot of meta which is tied to this URL, which you can see right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is back to where it says edit, I'm gonna remove that and replace it with a copy. C-O-P-Y, as in copy. And then I hit enter. 
And now all of a sudden you can see that it's bringing up an option for me to make a copy. So <clears throat> that it is, this applies also to Google Sheets. You can do the same with Google Sheets. Um, I'm not sure about Google Slides, perhaps Google Slides, but basically you just remove that meta at the end of the URL and you tie um, back to edit and you change it to copy and then it's done. So then when I click on this, it's going to say, bang. <clears throat> now we've got straight away a copy up here of this document. So now we have two documents in there and um, that's how you, how you basically do it. Hopefully that helps.